Testing, testing, testing. We're testing this right now because I messed with the camera settings yesterday while I was on the bus, and now I don't know what I did to it. So I have, I have to go through and, and check it all. <laughs> it is very important to get to know your equipment and all the features and functions it has, uh, but now I don't know what I did to it. So we're gonna be testing this out real quick, and I have to upload it and check it. Okay, so I definitely messed with some settings. I don't know what exactly, but I'll spend some time working on that. That's fine, it's part of the process. Speaking of part of the process, I have some notes, uh, two books specifically worth of notes. This one I'm keeping with me in my backpack, my travel bag. It's got a nice hard cover, so I don't have to worry about it flopping around while I'm trying to write. Also, while I'm on the go, this is just for like quick observational notes or if I need to write down a location. Oh God, I still don't know if I messed up my settings so much, I have to pause again. Something looks really wrong with these, with my settings. But this is just for quick handy dandy notebook notes. This big one gives me plenty of room to write and I leave it next to my desk. That's where I'm doing a lot of my contemplating, thinking. And so if it lives on the desk, I know where it is. And if this lives in my bag, I know where it is. But let's go over some of these notes because I did have a lot of feelings about yesterday and I did manage to write most of them down. So yesterday I was very frustrated. So two days ago, when I went to Whatcom Falls Park, there was no bus ride back. So I was annoyed then. And then the following day, I had to switch up my plan and make a new plan. And when I made that plan, it didn't work. <laughs> so it was frustrating. I had a lot of feelings about it. But if I'm gonna get through this, I need to start reminding myself of the positives. So I'm getting more exercise. I'm seeing the world in a different way. I am learning something new every day. Challenging myself gives me a sense of accomplishment even when I didn't complete what I set out to do, I still accomplished something. And it is rewarding to see that I can improve and I do see minor improvements every day. I am also really loving the comments that I'm getting from this series. I am not joking when I say they are so helpful. Please keep them coming. All your suggestions, I am taking notes. They are so helpful. You guys put in so much consideration to it. And it really makes me feel like you guys are a part of this journey with me. Like I cannot tell you guys how much I appreciate the time it takes to put in a comment and how wonderful they make me feel. You guys are propelling me forward. It like really always amazes me how it feels to have a community backing you when I have been mostly secluded in my personal life. So it feels very different to have that kind of support system. Okay, so I touched on the fact that every day I learn something new and I see minor improvements. I'm gonna let you guys know what I learned from yesterday. And I think I'm gonna include this every day and by the end of the 30 days, hopefully I can have a compiled list because I'm taking notes. So I've been working on my stabilization and trying to get slow movements in and remembering to switch to slow-mo when needed or get the shot again in slow-mo. But I also use Wondershare Filmora and they have a stabilization option. If you guys also have it, it is under video and then AI tools. And then you scroll down and you select the level of stabilization you want it to assist you with. It does take a long time, so if you are doing multiple clips, be prepared for that. Also, it doesn't completely fix, like if you move the camera from here and go here, it's not gonna be able to fix that. It just kind of helps the wobbles. I also use Epidemic Sound, I think it is. And I like using songs that have words. I just feel like it helps fill the space because I'm not talking during it. I'm not good at voiceovers and I do need to work on that, but you know, someday, not today. So I like using songs with vocals. And I've noticed that in a minute, you never really can truly tell where they're gonna cut it off and I've been using fade effect. I figured out a different way to do that. I get the vocals and then I get the instrumental version of the same song. I figure out where I want the, the lyrics to kind of stop, where a good stopping point is. And then I insert the instrumental version. Also, someone mentioned that on Instagram and on shorts, most people are listening with their headphones. So I'm dropping down all of that audio by about 15% so that it doesn't blast anyone's ears. And then also on the technical side, I'm still working on trying to figure out how to upload HD on YouTube Shorts. I've been using my phone, so that means I'm taking my file from my computer into my phone and then uploading it on the app. That's the surefire way I know that it will get it to upload as a short and I cannot figure out how to make it HD and I think it's my phone conversion making it that way, but I'm not positive. So let me know if you guys have any suggestions for that. And now I wanna just go over some observational notes from yesterday. Uh, I need to start remembering to get thumbnails. I need to also pause and get a picture because my blurry movements 
don't make for the best thumbnails. I also realized after everything was said and done, a cool shot that I could have gotten was me surrounded by buildings where it's looking up. Also would have been really cool if I had a circular fish eye lens for that shot, but they don't make one for the Sony's ZV-1F. But I am happy that I am visualizing these things. Normally I, I just shoot and go. <laughs> so, so it's nice to know that my brain is starting to visualize it in a filming and editing, what's the word? Thought process? So yeah, sorry that that was a lot of information thrown at you guys, but I'm figuring that most of you guys are watching this series because you want to know what I'm learning and I might as well give you all of that information even if it is not the most engaging vlog. I did also warn you guys that my notes are not very um, emotional. They are just cold hard facts. They're still helping me though. And speaking of helping and the fact that you guys left some really helpful comments, today I'm taking Duke on a walk. I'm going to make it a video that features him. It's going, all the dog walks need to be featuring them, not spider webs. <laughs> I think they're cool. I can save that footage for another day. I can capture it and put it in somewhere else if I want to. I don't have to delete it or throw it in this video and then delete it. And I want to take in their specific personalities and what I know they do on walks into consideration before going out. So Duke is a little bit goofy, but he also spends a lot of time just sniffing, sniffing, sniffing. So I think I'm gonna to have to change the shirt because I think I'm gonna to have to get on the ground and white, probably not the best idea. I'm glad I realized that while I was talking to you guys. You guys help in more ways than you know. I do know that he likes to roll on the ground, um, but he doesn't like to do it with wet grass. So there's a possibility I won't be getting that shot, but he does engage in play really quick and easy. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna ham it up a little bit, make him, make him be a little bit more goofy for the shots that I want and he's not going to mind because he's getting played with. So last time I was focusing on the walk itself, the nature, the things I saw on the walk. People are watching dog videos because they want to see the dog. I also want to just see my dogs. They're cute. We're gonna get tail wagging, we're gonna get sniffing, we're gonna get their ears perked. Hopefully I can capture when they see a squirrel because we always see a squirrel. And because this is going to be more playful, I am going to try and stick mostly to Oh shit, how many frames per second it is? I think it's 24 frames per second is the normal shoot mode. I know slow is 60 or 120, depending on how slow you wanna get, but yeah. So the close-ups, I think definitely slow-mo. I'm gonna play with speed ramping and all the fun goofy things will be in regular speed. Yeah, that's the plan. I'm excited for this. I have talked your guys' ear off. I don't have much more to say today. So let's get on with the walk. Are you ready for walkies? Strong. 